Hello everyone, my name is MJ Vilches and welcome to another Journey to Awesomeness workflow video where I'll be sharing to you uh, my workflow in creating a Doodle Log episode. So in this uh, stream, we are going to be creating animatics for uh, Doodle Log 005, which is probably going to be an awesome Doodle Log episode. I don't know. We'll see. But yeah, I guess without a further ado, let's let's get started on this thing. But yeah, I'm um, in creating my do uh, any of the Doodle Log episodes. Actually, uh, this kind of workflow I just you know recently kind of solidified, I guess. But yeah, and creating a doodle log episode uh the workflow that i decided to do is you know first i'm gonna write the script of course like how you know how you usually you know animations or any kind of films work uh, i write the script and then i record the dialogues all of the voice voices and stuff and then after that is the animatics so yeah i already did the script and recorded the voices and right now we're gonna be um working on the animatics so yeah hopefully the stream's fine uh, the microphone sounds great. Just tell me. Oops, I just opened the Discord. Not, don't want to be tempted to do that RPG bot thing again. Anyways, uh, yeah, uh, we're gonna do the animatics. So to do the animatics, I'm gonna be uh, creating a new 2D animation workspace in Blender. I'm using Blender 2.9.1, as you can see on the splash screen there. So yeah. Uh, the first thing I'm going to do to start these animatics is I actually need to go and open video editing. I'm going to open a video editing workspace and I, I actually need to also open my script. And I'm going to do some, actually, I'm going to, this is only, this is going to be based on, you know, the sound. We're going to try and put sounds on uh, the first scene of the doodle log. So just open the script and hopefully, you know, the microphone's fine. Tell me in the chat, whoever is watching live, I am buddy, if you're there, tell me if uh, the microphone's fine. Well, yeah, let's open up our script here. I'm using Kit Cinerist in writing my script because you know, it's a nice, it's a nice free script writing program. So yeah, this is the script for the animatics. So we need to start, you know, we see a huge wooden door. That's what I need to start. And we see a console with one big rectangular button on it. Okay, so yeah, okay, remember now. Actually, first we need to draw that wooden door because there's no dialogues yet. If there's dialogue at the first part of the scene, I will drag and drop the sound file right here. But since uh, there's no dialogue for that part where we just see a huge wooden door, which is actually the entrance for the next level. So yeah, by the way, uh, there's going to be a ton of spoilers about the log 005 as we make animatics for it. Because, you know, creating animatics is like... Uh, creating the the fill I'm um, creating the episode before creating the episode it's like uh yeah it's like editing the movie before editing the movie hopefully that makes sense but yeah uh let's draw just a quick so in creating animatics you know I just doodle it I don't do sketches I just quickly draw stuff according to you know how I imagined stuff stuff will be for the episode so I'm creating a huge wooden door here. And this is the entrance. So right now we're at the end. If you've watched J the Journey to Awesomeness videos, you'll know that I'm currently in Production Caverns working on animations for TUPE-01. And this is the end of Production Caverns. And there's a huge wooden door leading into the next level, which will be a secret. I'm probably not gonna spoil that part yet, but yeah, there's a wood, sh there's a huge wooden door here. I'm probably, I'm not gonna use pencil for this. Let's do that again. I'm gonna use a pen so that it's darker, and I guess I need to save it as well. So I need to go to animation. Uh, I might need to make a new doodle log, a new folder here. Name it doodle log zero zero five. Doodle. So yeah, that's a 
ton of shots from the previous ton of blender projects from the previous uh animations previous journey to awesomeness animations and with logs with log 005 i just died that was wrong it's like i pressed shift or pressed the wrong key anyways i'm just gonna go and save this do the log do the log it would be easier if i just say dl dl 005 uh animatics so i'm gonna save that so animatics um is going to like really save a lot of time later on when i start working on the animation animations you know animating the shots and all that jazz um it's really going to save some time um, i actually learned it learned that it's really best to create one before animation because you know uh, the first episode of journey to awesomeness the uh, journey to awesomeness begins wasn't paced too nicely and that's because i didn't make an animatics for it kind of just rushed into it and yeah after that i just i wanted to make animatics for the rest of the episode because i really want to improve the quality of uh journey to awesomeness animated shorts and do the logs as i you know as i make them so maybe i'll do a go with a curved wooden door here and it's going it's going to open from the middle so this is a wooden door kind of like the door from in the prophecy room so just to, yeah just to make it like a door and this is huge um, a, a person would be probably be this small here i'm gonna be this small so i'm just gonna go do something like that we're looking at a huge wooden door so just you know some quick doodling and i also am going to um we're gonna timing right away I'm gonna go to video editing. I'm gonna change this to 3D viewport. I'm gonna go to camera view. And I'm gonna go to a, a material preview, probably, or maybe just a solid view mode. Remove the overlays and then change, uh, and I guess change the background to world so that it's white. So I'm just gonna do that. So we see a huge wooden door. I'm going to add an ambient sound here. Just so we feel the moment. So I'm going to go to music, uh, SFX, ambience. And then I'm going to add the usual cave ambience that I put on the thing. Let me adjust some volumes here. It's probably going to be too loud. So I'm going to add the... Uh, hmm. I usually add the, the it's gonna be one of the cave I guess I'm gonna use an epidemic sound one let's see not that one let's try what's this no no dripping sounds Um, probably this drone ones. Okay, this one. This is what I always use. Let's just add that here. It's just temporary, just so we feel the moment, I guess. Okay, good. So yeah, welcome everyone, by the way. Welcome, everybody. Carly the car, Carly car car. Welcome to the stream right now when we're creating animatics for do the log 005 i'm gonna try to finish um the first scene so instead of moving the camera i'm just going to scale this guy right here because it's going to like pan it's gonna dolly in towards the wooden door or maybe dolly out dolly out so i'm gonna start with a kind of scaled version of it
So a lot of things could still change in the final animation, but you know, this is just for pacing. Just so I know if the pacing that I've uh, you know, decided to, uh, to do works. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna add, I'm gonna go to keying. I'm gonna set this to location, rotation, and scale so that every time I add a keyframe, you know, it automatically adds keyframes for location, rotation, and scale. If this wasn't enabled, an option will always come out asking you uh, what keyframe you want to add. If you want to add keyframe for the location, rotation, etc. But since I don't want that, every time I press I, I want that it it automatically adds keyframe. I'm just gonna set you know, in keying here location, rotation, and scale so that it automatically adds keyframes to every aspect of an object that I want to animate. So it starts uh, kind of, we're kind of close to the door and then we are moving backwards. Okay. Maybe that long. So I'm going to scale this down because we're, we've dolly out. I'm going to also turn on auto key. Okay. So I'm also going to be marking this control M DL save myself my future self some trouble by marking this right away. So this is do the log zero zero one or the first shot. Maybe I'll go with animation zero zero one because this is the 3D. I'm I'm gonna specify. I'm gonna use A to specify 3D animated shots, and I'm gonna use probably B to specify doodle shots, which are, which are shots that will be in 2D. So A001. And then it should dissolve into the next shot, which is a shot of me uh, sitting. Um, as said in the script, uh, then we see a console with one big rectangular button on it. A word on it says render. We then see MJ, or me, just below the console, opening the doodle log. So I always refer, I always write like that. It's, uh, in writing a script, it's really, you know, you have to write the script in present tense. You know, you have to write stuff as it happens, not, you know, after it happened. It's kind of like a... How the rules in writing a script. The only Star Wars reference, everybody is you know you've seen the you've seen the uh, the thumbnail of this video of this stream. The only Star Wars reference is that part, uh, the the challenge the challenges or you know the the obstacle of sequence zero zero five, which are the production caverns droids, which hopefully we'll get into. So I'm just gonna animate this and I'm probably going to let's change the dope sheet for now I want to bring this down further it's probably best if I'm already here so I'm gonna go to front view for now I'm gonna draw and I'm just gonna draw the console here with me sitting in front of it next to the next to the door so there's going to be like one giant button here kind of slanted like that because this is a console It's the body of the console. This one says render. I'll just do a gibberish kind of way. And I'm gonna be right here, sitting. Doodle, try, uh, taking the doodle log from the pack. 
So just a quick drawing here. Just so we know, uh, this wide shot will determine the size of the door. So I need it, I need to be in frame, so that you'll know that the door is huge because you know I'm here, sitting in front of a console. And then it cuts to a close-up shot. I mean, I'm... then it cuts to a close-up shot of a shot right here. So I'm going back to grease pencil here. And I'm just gonna make a new keyframe actually. Or maybe I need to create a new grease pencil object for this one. Because we animated the first one. So I'm just gonna go shift A. I'm gonna add a new grease pencil object. Set it to blank. And I have to make sure that this one cuts out. And then cut right here at frame 80. So I'm just gonna add a keyframe here and then delete that. And then next shot right here at frame 80. So I'm gonna go select the grease pen so the other one again and draw I think I'm gonna go draw from the front front view let me just not display that for now I'm drawing the front so in drawing myself which I'm still not in the draw I'm not in draw mode yet what's happening here oh yeah I did not get out of object mode from the previous stroke object so I'm just gonna draw myself why is this not that clear probably because I didn't set a proper material for this I'm gonna go with dot um, solid stroke yes so yeah, let's draw me. So I'm drawing myself in animatics form. I just actually draw a simple character. So let me read the script for first. So we then see MJ just below the console opening the doodle log. So I already already have the doodle log on my lap. So let me just quickly draw myself holding the doodle log. Not even gonna bother drawing the fingers. So this is the doodle log. And I'm holding the pen. Okay, this is gonna be not easy. This part is not gonna be easy I'm trying to remember how to draw a hand holding a pen oh well just you know just like that <laughs> that doesn't even look like a hand that's holding a pen but anyways that works that works I just need to see the general uh, kind of position of stuff I should be sitting doing the uh, Indian seat Indian sit uh, sit uh, okay an Indian uh, sit a uh, seat ah uh, man my pronunciation is broken right now so I'm in front of the console So this is gonna be the design of the console. I didn't actually model this yet in 3D. But this is gonna be a simple model. Won't take too long to model this. What's gonna take too long to model is the M shot, which you'll which you'll know later. So I'm just gonna draw a console here. 
there is a huge render here this is the render button We have the cliff here. So just quickly draw stuff here. And just part of the wooden door here. And let's see how this looks in camera. So let me show this again. I have to go to stroke. I'm gonna turn off onion skinning for this guys. And now we have to animate this as well. I'm not gonna be animating the camera. The camera will stay where it is. I'm gonna switch the dope sheet. And this needs to start from the top here. And I probably need to be closer. Okay. So wooden door. And the render button. And then it needs to go down to me at frame 160, I think. I will be adjusting this little by late, little as I make the animatics, by the way. Show myself, let's zoom into that. And it needs to be slower, so which means I need to go closer. Need to scale this, or maybe I should delete that. Let's go back to render. And then cut. I'm going to set this to linear, the interpolation of the animation. Or maybe maybe easing in and out is best. Or I could Yeah, just you know, just a still just stays on the render for a while and then just starts moving. And then we cut here. And then we cut to the POV shot. So I'm going to go to Grease Pencil again. Tab into edit mode. Make sure I add the keyframe and then, and then, oh, and then. I'm gonna delete all of the strokes for this keyframe so that when it cuts to this keyframe, everything's gone. And then POV shot right here. I'm going to have to create another grease pencil object. And yeah, um, creating animatics, uh, it's gonna be a bit of a jankiness to the creation process. But yeah, hopefully you guys understand what I'm trying to do here. And hopefully you get you get like a solid grasp of how of how to use like the grease pencil uh, feature of Blender to create animatics for your own animations. So yeah, frame 160, I'm gonna draw the POV shot. Which will be, you know, the doodle log. I need to set a solid stroke as a material first before starting to draw. Let's increase the radius for now. Make it 30. So here's my thumb from the other hand holding, holding the doodle log. So the, this things will definitely look different for the final one. So we have the doodle log open right here, and we're close to adding our first dialogue, the first uh, narration or the first voiceover. Which is going there's going to be like entries from the previous doodle log here, by the way, as we start a new entry. So I will have to actually you know, texture the little do the log for that. Let's draw the leg here. 
and then the hand holding the pen. I may have to animate this hand, but we'll see. So, just draw the pen right there. And then the leg as well. Do the log, 005. And then I need to animate this hand right here. So to do this, I'm actually I'm going to do something else. I need to need to delete the hand. This parts first. I'm gonna go to stroke. I'm gonna draw the rest of the leg here. I'm gonna create a new grease pencil object right on top. I will have to rename this actually. So B. I'm just gonna call this A. And B or hand. And then I'm going to draw the hand. And draw it here on the side first. Draw the pen. So I'm not going to try to be too meticulous for the animatics because this is just for pre-visualization. This is not the final animation. This is just so I can determine if the shots that I decided to use works or, you know, if I pace it and just to properly pace the whole thing. So I'm going to add a new layer for the grease pencil here. Make this hand fill. And I will need to use a new material. Uh, let's bring those options out again. New material here. I'm going to go solid fill. Make that white. And then I'm just going to fill up this the hand here. I'm going to reduce the brightness of the background. For now, you probably can't see the screencast because of how bright it is too. I'm gonna use this color for the solid fill as well. But eh, for now, make it brighter so that we see. And I'm gonna fill this. Make sure that we're in the right layer. We are. So I'm just gonna go ahead. I ah, know, not like this. I'm gonna use the pen tool just so I can just quickly do something like this. And then now I can animate this one. So I'm gonna go back to I'm gonna go just draw mode, I guess. And make sure that both of this are unlocked. So let's play this. And then the hand should be let's see, I'm gonna go to edit mode. The hand should be right here. Like that. Let's increase this by a thousand or two thousand. So let's go back from the start. Do the log. Zero zero five. So I'm up to probably two seventy. I am going to bring the hand closer to the notebook by just scaling it, rotating it, and stuff. And then I'm going to add an interpolation. Make sure that both of these are checked before pressing sequence so that all of the layers uh, have in-betweens. And now, as you can see, we have this. Now I can go to object mode and adjust this grease pencil object so it fits inside our camera. I also need to make sure that the passe part out of the camera is set to one, so we only see you know what's inside the frame. Maybe maybe about 0.95. 
so we can still slightly see outside and adjust accordingly. So yeah, how are you guys doing by the way? Hopefully the stream's not too boring for you. So yeah, if you have any questions by the way, any blender questions you want to ask, you know, anything, just, you know, ask in the chat. I'm going to try answering them. So there. And do the log 005. Production stage. Let's see how fast, how long do I need to show that shot? Do the log 005. Production stage. So maybe I'm gonna keep zooming in until this point because this is going. I'm also gonna be animating the opacity of this whole thing. Just like we're going inside the book, which would then lead us into the doodle shots. So maybe faster. So I'm going to fade out a bunch of these guys. So I guess this one, I'm going to unlock all of them. And they need to start fading. Do the lock. 005. Let's add that, that voice. Hmm. I probably need to show that last one longer. So let's see what we can do here. I'm gonna go back to 2D animation. Object mode. So I'm gonna move this. I'm gonna go to grease pencil actually. Grease pencil. I'm gonna move everything back. Because that kind of cuts quickly to the POV. I'm gonna select this shot and it adjust. Right here. So, like that. And it was show me, you know, trying opening the book for a while. Maybe up to 200, and up to the 200 frame. And then I also need to make sure that the animation for this one starts the 200 frame. And I might have to go to dope sheet as well. And bring... And there we go. I think that's fine. I'm gonna go to video editing for now and let's add that voice. Wait. Let's see. Opening the book. And then let's add that voice. So I'm going to go to big change audio. F not final. It should be in raw. Do log 005. And it's this one right here. So I'm going to drag and drop that. Right there, so all of this is the sound file that I'll need for this episode. Do the log, 005. Do the log, 005. 
production stage. I'm gonna display the waveform. Do the log zero zero five. Do the. Let's move that back. Do the log zero zero five. Production stage. February 16th. So yeah, I'm gonna cut this part right here. I'm gonna move that way back here. Do the log 005. Production stage. So I need to fade this out, all of this. Do the Once I start talking. So I'm gonna go to make sure that's selected. Back to 2D animation. I'm gonna animate the opacity. So it starts fading in on this frame. So I'm gonna add a keyframe for all opacity of all the layers here. And by the end, do the log zero zero five. Wait, did I set the playback? Yep, I need to set this to AV sync. This is important so that uh, the video, the this the viewport here, syncs with the audio. Let me check if that caused an issue without turning that on. Do the log zero zero five production stage. Okay, I think it works. I can still adjust it. Adjust it later. So I'm just going to animate the opacity. Set the opacity to zero for this one, this one, and this one. Let me see if there's a way to do this. No, it's just on the grease pencil. Oh well. Do the log. 005 Maybe maybe put the fade do the log 005 Do the log 005 Do the log zero yeah, faster do the log 005 because uh, the do the log 005 text will Start here do the log 005 Productions. So I actually need to check because I forgot something about the, the beginning of the doodle logs. <laughs> I haven't made a doodle log for a while, so uh, forgive me for forgetting stuff. I did a bunch of videos since the uh, previous doodle log, so I kind of forgot how I started it. Let's go to doodle log 004. How did I start the doodle title? I'm just gonna mute this by the way if you want to watch it just go watch it on the main channel ah so yeah that's how I write the titles right there the log 005 and then so that's what's gonna come out come out here do the log 005 <coughs> excuse me Excuse me. <laughs> Do the log zero zero five. So I'm just gonna quickly do that title. Add another quiz special object here. Let's make sure that we add a material. Solid stroke. I'm just gonna quickly Right. Do the log zero zero five, the line, and then production stage. And then to I don't even have to animate, you know, the it writing part. So I'm gonna go crease pencil. Okay. Do the so it needs to start writing. Here. Do the log, 005. So to do that writing thing is actually really easy here in Blender. I just have to go to modifiers and then add the build modifier. And that should do the trick. Do the log, 005. Production stage. Do the log, 005. Production stage. That's my favorite modifier in 2D animation here in Blender. Do the log, 005. Production stage. 
And then production stage. And then I'm gonna create a new keyframe here. Log zero zero five. Production stage. Do the log zero zero five. Production stage. And then tie uh, February February sixteen. Oopsie, not duplicate. It should be Shift S. It should snap you know this strip right into the playhead here. H. February 6th. So it cuts right here. Let's go back to 2D animation. I'm just gonna write. Actually, I'm gonna start writing the next one. Hey there, Michael, the fairy cat. Welcome. I'm creating an animatics for do the log 5 five. I'm gonna turn off build for now. So February, Feb. You're already 16, 2020. Yeah, I'm creating an animatics for Do the Log 005, the next Do the Log in our journey to awesomeness adventure. Do the Log 005. I'm gonna turn back on the build. See, the build modifier kind of resets each frame. So, Do the log. after that one, production stage. February 16. And then it resets again. It Kinda, you know, it starts again. The build modifier. I resumed my advent. February 16, 2020. I was. I'm gonna cut that. That shouldn't be qu that quick. Let's move that back for now. February 16, 2020. And this should be faster. So I'm probably have to animate the modifier as well. That when it goes to this frame, you know, the frame, the length is shortened. So let me just do this. Then I'm gonna set the frame on this one to 50. So it's really nice that I can animate that, by the way. February 16, 2020. See, now it's faster than how Block, zero, zero, five. the first one Production is being, you know, it's being built or kind of like simulates writing. February 16, 2020. Okay. Nice. Do the log 005. Production stage. February 16, 2020. I actually have another version of that intro. February 16. Yeah, there we go. Do the log 005. This is probably better intro. Let's get this one. Do the log 005. Production stage. Just the just this first part. I'm gonna put that right here and I'm going to get rid of the old one. Do the log 005. Production stage. February 16, 2020. Hey, buddy, I'm glad that you are learning some new things. That's the point of, <laughs> of sharing this stuff so that I can learn some, you know, some knowledge, blender knowledge. So just feel free to ask some questions. My adventures in the production caverns and proceeded into finishing sequence 004. I resumed my adventures in the production caverns and proceeded into finishing sequence 004. I think this one's better. I resumed my adventures in production. February 16, 2020. February 16, 2020. I resumed my adventures in the production caverns and proceeded into finish. I'm gonna reduce the volume of the background, the ambiance. I was February 16, 2020. February 16, 2020. Fair. Let's do. February 16, 2020. I resumed my adventures in the production. I resumed. I. So for this part, I'm just gonna be lazy and not show anything. Just, you know, just write. February 16. Settle with writing. February 16, 2020. And then I need to add another keyframe here. 
and delete that. February 16th. Hmm. Blog. Zero, zero. That broke. Blog. Zero, zero, 005. Okay, something's broken. Oh, it's not broken. I just I'm in edit mode. That's why it's not working. Do the log. Zero, zero, 005. Production stage. February 16, 2020. I resumed my So for this part, I'm just going to go add a new grease pencil object. So I'm gonna shift A. Let's show overlays for now. Go blank. I'm gonna rename this Doodle Shot Text. Because I'm gonna be reusing that a lot. And what I'm going to do is to just say I'm gonna go make sure that I add a, a solid stroke. This is going to be doodle shot zero zero one. Just like that. I'm not gonna draw anything. Twenty twenty. I resumed my adventures in the production caverns and proceeded into finishing. Okay, good. And then there's gonna be sound effects of the you know the book opening, pen, all that jazz. So yeah, book opening, page flapping. Do the log zero zero five, production stage. February sixteenth, twenty twenty. I resumed my adventures in the production caverns. So it's time to. Mark some stuff here. So I need to mark this one M and then control M to rename it. And call this A underscore zero zero two. It's the second shot of the 3D animation part of the doodle log. And then this is the third shot. So A underscore zero zero three. And then it fades and goes to the title right here. So I'm just gonna go, I guess, do this. Um, I'm just gonna name this title. Fog 005, production stage. And then this is text underscore. 001. February 16, 2020. And then Doodle Shot 001. So DL underscore 001. So I'll be needing those uh, these markers later on. I resumed my adventures in the production caverns and proceeded into finishing sequence 004. The climb was still overwhelming, but managed to conquer it nonetheless. The rest of the shot for the sequence are kind of overwhelming, but... I'm gonna use this one. I resumed my adventures in the production caverns and proceeded into finishing sequence 004. Just not that part, so I can delete this now. I resumed my adventures in the production caverns and proceeded into finishing sequence 004. And then I'm gonna connect this one. 004. The rest of the shot for sequence zero zero four. The rest of the shot for the sequence are So this is just a doodle shot and it really I I I since it's called a doodle shot, you know, I'm not gonna be drawing it here. I will be working on it, you know, when I, I'm working on the final one because it's a doodle shot and it has to come out as a doodle, not not something that I sketched or prepared. Kinda overwhelming, but managed to conquer it nonetheless. So it didn't take long for me to proceed to sequence zero, zero. 005. And then sequence zero, zero 005. This is another uh, 3D shot. For me to proceed to sequence zero, zero 005. And then we kind of dissolve into the next shot, which is the shot that introduces the M shot, which will turn into a lightsaber. And then go to... Uh, actually, let's... Uh, what I'm gonna do for the rest of the stream is I'm going to 
uh, go add the dialogue voices here. And I'm not going to be doing some drawings anymore, just adding the dialogues. Zero, zero, five. So this will dissolve into the next shot. Zero, zero, five. So dissolve into the next shot and then I need, I need not that. I need to go to the voices again. And I think the first one who speaks here is the ball, ball of light right here. And display the waveform for that. Zero, zero, five. So then it dissolves like for a wide shot of me at the end of sequence zero, zero, 004. And then walking towards sequence zero, zero, 005. And then ball shows up. Sequence zero, zero, 005. And I'm walking. I'm like jumping down a step from zero, zero, 004. Heading to zero, zero, 005. Wait. Zero, zero, 005. Jumping down a step. Sequence zero zero five. Jumping down a step. Heading for sequence zero zero five. Ball shows up. Now you shall face. Oh, not that one. Did I not save the first one? That's not good. I still need to process this by the way to sound like you know the ball like the deep voice one and it looks like I made an oopsie I did not save it properly so I'm going to have to open audacity again and quickly export a balls part here hopefully I did not delete it before you step foot on the next sequences you will need this this is called an image shot list. M shot for short. This will make it easier for you to navigate the harder challenges ahead. So I still need to process this so that it's deeper. This can transform into any small device you'll need to face various obstacles. Now you shall face. Okay, so I'm supposed to export this one. Which I didn't, which isn't, it's not gonna be, it's not a big deal, it's, it exports really fast. So I need to go back to projects here. Documents to the most projects, uh, big change, audio, raw, log 005. I need to get this, and I'm going to have to, wait a minute, I need to listen to the other one. Before you start Ow, I did export it, I just... It's right here. Before. Okay. Hmm. You didn't see anything. No mistakes have been made. I'm gonna drag and drop this into Blender. Just renamed it to zero, so it's you know it comes first before the next one. Anyways, to sequence zero zero five. Zero zero five. So jump down. Heading to the sequence, and and ball shows up. Before you step forth on the next sequences, you will need this. And then he hands over the M shot. This, which is kind of like a tablet. It looks like a tablet by default. That shows you know the shot list on it. But it can transform into any small objects that I you know that I'll need. This is called and will need this. Hands over the M shot. This is called an image shot list. M shot for short. Image shot list. M shot for short. This will make it easier for you to navigate the harder challenges ahead. Image shot list. M shot for short. This will make it easier for you to navigate the harder challenges ahead. This can transform the harder challenges ahead. And then the M shot started glowing, transforming into... This can transform into any small device you'll need to face various obstacles. Transforming into a lightsaber. So maybe I can add like a... 
Whoa. Nah. Probably need to record some. This can transform into any small device you'll need to face various obstacles. Hey, I'm buddy. Once again, man, thanks for that. Thanks for another super chat from M Buddy. M Buddy just gave a nice super chat. Super chat. So yeah, thank you so much for that, M Buddy. You are really awesome. Obstacles. And yeah, there's actually a part where you're gonna be in this into the log zero zero five. Just a hologram of your, you know, avatar. You know, the one that we talked in in Discord. But yeah, you, you got you deserved a thank you, more than just a thank you here in the streams. But yeah, a thank you also in the doodle logs, in every video where possible. So yeah, thank you so much, buddy. This can transform into any small device you'll need to face various obstacles. Now you shall face the production caverns droids. To face various obstacles. So I'm holding the lightsaber handle. It's not, you know, it's it's not turned on yet. Whoa! Kind of reacting to it. And then ball started moving towards sequence zero zero five. Sequence zero zero five. At first, it's still dark. Various obstacles. Whoa! And then ball moves to sequence zero zero five. Flies towards it and then lights it up. Lights turned on in sequence zero zero five. Now you shall face the production caverns droids. And then the lights turn on, and then you'll see a shot that's kind of look that's kind of like uh, the thumbnail of this video. So once I a ball says this, now you shall face the production caverns droids. You'll see a shot like this one. Because as the light turns on, you know, all the droids also turns on and then comes out and then shows up and something like this comes out. Something like this is gonna uh, happen. Uh, the droids are coming out. You see the keyframe droids. Now you show face the production caverns droids. So yeah, lights turning on at sequence zero five. Sequence uh, production caverns droids are coming out. MJ is gonna be like, whoa, or me. <laughs> I'm referring to myself in third person. Anyways, I'm gonna be like, whoa. And then turns on the lightsaber. And droids coming out, keyframe droids, EXT RMs, and then a small BR breakdown droid. And then I turn on the lightsaber. Something like this will come out. Like this right here. So this, something like this will happen. I turn on the lightsaber, and then I say, and then I say, wait for it, wait for it, wait for it. Need to go back. And then I say, this. So, whatever sound I'm gonna put there. Virgin droids coming out. I turn on the lightsaber and then let's do this. And then I attacked it. And then there's gonna be a sequence of fight scene here. Just a short sequence of fight scene. Where I fight the production cavern droids. And hopefully that's gonna be, you know, easier to do than yeah, it's probably gonna be fine. It's gonna be easy to do. In animation but yeah I think that's all for now uh, that's all for this stream that's how I make animatics I'm gonna keep working on this until I make really good progress today for the animatics and then tomorrow there's gonna be another stream probably a continuation of the animatics we're probably gonna be further along the animatics for tomorrow but yeah that's it for now thank you so much everyone for watching thanks to M buddy for the super chat and yeah just you now thanks for like watching all of my videos thanks for watching all the contents thanks for, to anyone who's reached this far in the video we're about an hour in yeah that's all thanks for watching um if yeah if you don't have any questions we're gonna end the stream 
which you know which you don't I don't think you have any more questions but yeah I'm gonna wait for a while and everybody if you don't have any questions or any of you don't have any questions I'm gonna end the stream so make your questions you know make your questions now if you have some just you know 10 seconds or, or, or 20 I don't know how long I'll wait no chats no chats okay looks like there's no questions anyways I'm, I'm not sure how delayed the live stream for you guys so it may be so delayed I'm just gonna wait anybody if you have any question ask and if not just tell me so I can end the stream anybody you are so you're so generous, man. So awesome. Words really is not enough to, you know, to, to thank you, I guess, <laughs> for uh, your support. So yeah, if you don't have any question, and I don't really want to answer the real question that you're saying right now, it's kind of, <laughs> kind of embarrassing. And yeah, I'm extremely grateful. But yeah, that's all. If you guys don't have any questions, I'm going to end the stream. Thank you so much again, everyone. Thank you, everybody. Really, man. Thank you so much. So, yeah. That's all. See you again. Um, see you tomorrow on the next stream. And probably next week as well. I don't know how far along we're going to be in the do the log creation process. But, yeah. I'm going to be streaming the workflow that I'm doing. I'm going to be streaming probably most of the production of do the log 005. I cannot stream TUPE-01 because I'm... Uh, on the part of the production right now for that where I cannot stream it because it's so much for the laptop because I am doing some physics simulation right now for uh, for the underlying project and I can't really stream that because I can't stream and simulate some physics that, I, that's just something I cannot do right now the laptop cannot handle it so yeah guess there's really no more to say that's all Thanks for watching. My name is MJ Vilches, and yeah, I'm gonna go uh, keep working on this doodle log. So, bye.